Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another video here on Team Acne. My name is Brian Turner and I am someone who is extremely passionate about acne because I've gone through extremely bad acne. Now today, I wanna to talk to you guys about a very specific type of acne that's called dairy acne. And this is an acne that is obviously like the name entails, caused by a, an intake of dairy. I'm gonna go into the kind of the, the details, the specifics, how much dairy, why it happens, and I hope it kind of gives you some insight, especially if you are someone who is you know, consuming dairy and you might have these types of pimples. So the reason that when you consume dairy of any type, you actually have pimples pop up is because of a mechanism in your body called mTORC. When you intake dairy, it increases the amount of mTORC circulating in your body. And mTORC increases the amount of sebum production that you produce. And when you produce sebum, that's the oil in your face, that's what causes acne. It's basically acne fuel, right? Now, a lot of people don't know about this mechanism, including myself. And so you just kind of aimlessly going forward without knowing Knowing that dairy is a huge cause of acne. Now, if you go through any acne forums, if you go through you know acne videos on YouTube, go through the comments and, and, and ask people or see what people are saying causes their acne, one of the number one things that causes people's acne is dairy. I just recently did a poll of 100 people and dairy came up as, I think it was the second largest thing that causes people's acne other than stress. When I was going through the worst of my acne, I had gone through so many different products. I had tried like antibiotics. My dermatologist gave me that. And then afterwards I finally got on Accutane. And then I kept going for like, I think it was like 30, 40 weeks before the Accutane even began to start working. We kept ramping up and up and up and up. And uh, we never really got to the point of what was causing my acne. Instead, we were just trying to treat it through products. Eventually, one day, my doctor actually said, are you consuming whey protein, which is a derivative of milk? And for me, I was taking it because as uh, someone who tries to gain muscle, someone who's really into the gym, you know, everybody's taking protein. So of course I was taking protein as well. This is the first time that the dermatologist and really any dermatologist that I talked to actually brought up something that I was eating, something dietary that was causing acne. And it's kind of weird that d dermatologists never talk about what you're eating as a source of acne, but finally he did. And so I started looking into it and I took out dairy out of my diet, I took out whey protein, I took out basically everything out of my diet, and it helped a lot. Now at the time, I said, okay, well now that it's starting to clear up, and I'm still on Accutane, maybe I can get away with a little bit of dairy here and there, because of course, you know, protein bars are convenient when you're trying to get protein in, protein shakes are convenient when you're trying to get protein in, and what would happen is every single time that I tried to have like, you know, a protein bar. So like one or two servings of, of whey protein or a protein shake. Again, one serving of whey protein. I would break out within 48 hours. I've said this story a million times. It feels like, you know, like ancient knowledge to me. But I didn't know until this dermatologist had talked to me about this that that was causing my acne. And then, like I'm saying, when I tried to introduce it back into my diet, it was causing me acne again. Now, for me personally, the type of acne that you know, dairy was causing me, these dairy pimples were cysts. So they would start as underground pressures, you know, you couldn't quite see them. And then over the course of one, two, three days, they'd come to a big white head and yeah, it's a little graphic. I'm probably showing you some stuff on screen and I won't show the popping, but they were very, very, very big, super pressurized. These were the kind of uh, cysts or pimples that when you're laying on your pillow and you push your head into that pimple, it like actually hurts. Like they, they get very sensitive. They cause a lot of pain. They're huge. They're really, really noticeable. And you know, socially, it's really tough to walk around with these things on your face. You know, what I would do is I would pop them violently, which was probably the worst thing I possibly could have done because that made them last like way longer. It would always make them two, three times the size, which obviously also makes it really hard because then you're walking around with this big red mark and then everybody is coming up to you and saying, hey, I know how to fix your acne. Have you ever tried washing your face more often? And you're like, yes, Karen. I've washed my face a bazillion times. I've tried every product that you're possibly gonna throw at me even though you have no acne and you have no right to be talking to me about acne, okay? 
and it hasn't worked. So I guess long story short is over time, I found out that my dairy consumption was a huge source of my acne, you know, beginning in the first place ever since I was 15 years old and then building up and up and up. As I was eating more calories, I was getting in more whey protein, more milk and, and dairy products. I was drinking, you know, tons of milk just to get easy calories and protein in as I was trying to like bulk up and get more muscle. And that was just adding fuel to the fire. And that was the major cause of my cystic acne at least. I'm sure I would have had tons of whiteheads and blackheads still because it's just like in me genetically, hormonally and whatnot. But the cysts specifically were dairy pimples. They were fueled by dairy. And if you're watching on screen right now, you're seeing the way that I was eating. I was having tons of whey protein powders. I was having tons of cottage cheese with protein mixed in. I was just consuming the crap out of dairy. And I wish I would have learned earlier to try taking dairy out and see if my acne improved. You know, that's something that I'm challenging you to do is take dairy out entirely. Now, this is the important thing. How much dairy causes dairy pimples? Literally any amount of dairy. And that's the tough part. When you try to take dairy out, when you try to do the elimination diet is what it's called, when you take dairy all the way out to see if it'll improve your acne, you have to be like vigilant. You have to be hyper vigilant. You have to be super disciplined in making sure you get no dairy at all. Otherwise, you're gonna go through this experiment and then you're gonna say, ah, dairy doesn't affect me at all because I'm still breaking out just as much as before. But the problem is a lot of people will take out dairy, meaning milk, because that's easy, right? You just don't drink milk. But they don't realize that butter, cheese, a lot of uh, a lot of products that you get, like I mean, like even like Doritos and stuff, they'll have milk protein or uh, like whey protein in there as a way to add like creaminess to the the food. And so when you you know stop the major dairy things, but you're still having those small dairy sources, you're still getting two, three servings of dairy in. And for me, like I'm saying, when I was even having just one serving after multiple weeks of being off of dairy, I would like without fail, 100% of the time, within two days at most, maybe three days, I would always have a cyst pop up and not pimples, like a cyst, a big, hard, pressurized cyst. So. If you want to try to alleviate your cystic acne, if you're having really, really violent pimples, and I'm sure it, it, it comes out in different ways for different people. For me, again, like it was cysts, but I'm sure for other people, it can just be like little whiteheads and whatnot. If you wanna try this, then make sure you are super vigilant and having no dairy at all. Look at the back of the ingredients, check, get used to checking and do it quickly. The way that you can check on ingredient lists if there is dairy in it is you can look at the ingredients and then you can go to the end if you're in America and there's a little bold spot that says contains and this is so that you can see allergens quickly. So it'll say contains soy, contains um, you know wheat, contains nuts. There's one that says contains milk. So look on the whole ingredients and you can read through the ingredients if you want or if you wanna be quick about it, you can just go to the end and see contains milk. And you'd be like, oh, whoops, okay, I won't buy that bread, I'll buy this bread instead because this bread has milk, that bread doesn't. Easy change if you know how to do it, hard if you don't. Anyways, I wanted to make this video because it is near and dear to me. The dairy thing is what caused my acne and caused me so much struggle throughout my younger life as I was dealing with this acne, trying to you know make friends and be social and whatnot, but everybody's pointing out my acne, I was always focused on my acne. and. I made videos saying, you know, that acne is one of the greatest things that I've ever been through because it's taught me so much. But sure, I would have loved to have less acne. And if somebody would have made this video for me back then, I would have known to try that instead of waiting, you know, 50 weeks into friggin' Accutane and then my dermatologist starts suggesting it, then I finally start experimenting and it's not till multiple years later that I actually implement it completely. So I'm hoping that this helps you guys out, gives you something to try and I'm sure loads of you in the comments will say that dairy, removing it has been one of the biggest blessings for you in terms of getting rid of acne. I've seen it happen a million times in my comment section so I already know that this is tried and true, not just for me. Again, there's also science behind it so I'm just sharing the information because I have the information. That's what we do here on Team Acne. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, I would love to hear what you thought in the comments below. If you've tried something like this before with dairy, let me know. Let me know if you know when you have a lot of dairy, it causes you acne. Give it a like if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Remember, you're not alone. You are beautiful and you're a part of Team Acne. I'll see you guys in the next video.